Nightmare setup, the Raw setup, the Sven Sun, you've got tons of setup for the Sun Strike and all. Mm. Why not the G Tinker again? Well, that's a TA ban, Shiva. Yep. Mm. In rotation by No Fear, I, I really like because I think it serves almost a duo purpose. Are they gonna go in? Yeah, looks like they're gonna try and kill FNG here. Yeah, with the shield on Aoi as well, if that's gonna pop, it's gonna kill, and it certainly will. PPD with the first blood. As you stare, just at the amount of time where the, this gigantic creep wave is going to go into the tower and they kill him. They actually stop so much progression of FNG oh, level. Mate. They might just get Bulba here with the crush. Bulba in a lot of trouble. Hex to follow through Yoku. Couple more slaps will do it. Indeed, they'll find the kill. Nice control there from VP as we talked about. They've got a lot of lockdown. Ooh, FNG! Did he get it caught out there? I mean, he's, he's got to look to deny himself with this amount of help. Uh, oh, there's actually no creeps. Oh, FNG. And a bit of a spot of bother. He's going to continue to walk on into the same time. The mid lane, Samael actually picking up a kill. No fear coming in with a magic missile. Can they turn it? No, oh, he can't on his own. Fenji still looking for someone to kill him. Finally, has found uh, his, uh, his destiny. And uh, will suicide there to the neutral. So he gets himself out, but nice play here from EG, of course. Kill that creep wave pretty quickly and get a lot of chip damage on that tier one. And that, that's something that just creates a lot of space for Sven. It, it speeds up his progression. If they can get that quick tower, it means a faster... Um... Oh, that stunned me! The low one, I was catching some out just on the tip. They're coming through as well, but the reaction from EG is big with the tornado. A low hard to get a full cold snap onto GEG. Looking for the reaction plan, they're going to find it. Double kill for Samael. Absolutely expertly done there from Fear and Bobble coming into back up. Uh, what looks to be a very... Stop making... Uh... Those kind of risks, I think. Look at this as well. G felt safe farming in the jungle over the setup. Nightmare Samales rotated through as well with the cold snap down. They should be able to do this. Tornado onto G. No escape here for the Alchemist. He'll go down. Can they find anything return? No fear in the low dust coming through, but PPD, he's coming deep here with the side of EG. EMP down, so deep they've got to run Yoku. Looking to go back in with the Amplify out. Chase this one down. Looking for Samael. Actually, the Firefly from FNG. Could be enough there. One more touch, and the Invoker will be gone. They'll find it. Got the kill on the Invoker. Yoku looking to chase down. For more nice stuff from Aloha Nox. Catching PPD on the tip. PPD still continuing to run and well, will continue to try and chase with the napalm, but FNG runs out of Drake's the Firefly and he himself has to back up. So at least they find some alien return there. But each place, they just got so much time to be able to push out the lanes and farm. You saw AUI pushing well into the tier 2 tower, but PPD finally going to get caught and put down instead. Look at this tier first map and find anything return. Fear is about. I'm out of FNG, Samael. See what he goes for at the same time. There's a roll from Paul, but looking to pick up a lower dance here with the balls. D coming in to try and turn around. The FNG gets himself up with a firefly. Lose the low hard arms. And up G. Goes, but just not quick enough. Maybe with a the slow out they could get Bulba, but no, he's fine. He's got the back of the PVD and with the shield. It's going to be EG going back in. EMP down. No fear. He gets taken. So we can see that VP. I can see VP really coming in nice. Nightmare from Fear holding back Yoku as he looks for the Slithering Crush. He's still going to move in at the same time. Some out. A PPD eyes onto a low hard arm for the Miscon. Not quite enough. He'll put the Fairy Fire. He will never now. VP coming back into the full force. They will now lose line. Some out was able to find the final touch here. The question is VP again. This time, can they actually punish EG's play? PPD coming in. He's going to look for the deny. Can't quite get it. Shrinoku seals the deal. There, Aoi and Bulba have actually done the full engagement now with the God Strength there, ready to go raw. Setting up onto G. Still, Yoku and FNG frantically chasing Samel on the back lines. In with the lasso. Can they actually take it down? No, Samel. Storm the tornado. Aoi comes in. Storm off onto Yoku. And EG again. They just seem to be too tough for the side of BB to fight back into. It's a nice step from Alara. The they need to get themselves back in and they will get Samel on his invoker magic missile. Oh, Aoi finger. Finishes off Bulba now. BT. Can they come back and find this cleanup? Oh, he's got the shield up. Still, BDP chasing. No fair. Full force to try and fight this one. Still, man, on the other the sideline. Bulba getting hexed up it again. The aquatic shield to remove the stun. He's ready to go back in. Gets the roar up onto G and in moves out. He fiend scribbles well down. Nice sidestep from out to avoid the earth fight. They've killed the alchemist. EG losing nothing at the moment. And VP. Oh, they, they've got to get themselves aggressive vision, both of it's like really defensive on their side, and both of the lanes are well. And just this setup of follow through from EG, every time it's going to hit. Ryan taking Zen. Side lane heroes that they're now able to spend some time grouping up and just going for a full five man team fight. BP. FNG. Wow, that was a very, very bold jump in. Fear coming in as well with the Nightmare holding the bat in place. Uh, yeah, God straight from Raw. FNG is just getting absolutely destroyed here. EG, they'll move on to tier 2 on the bottom. They find themselves another tower. The second bigger and bigger 
growth where evil geniuses with this Aegis can take the rest of the tier 2 and they can start spreading themselves out knowing that they have a lot of so solo kill power uh, between some males. Do you know with the smoke? I may catch out No Fear. He may be the one to tank the gank and indeed straight on. Revenge, no fit. Oh, he's not going to receive any card to help it as he starts to EG and some out. Pick off that one. The rest of EP already skipped. Like that. They're just like, yeah, we win the fight no matter what. Let's find more. And talking about finding more EG. Looking for the top lane. Pick off the give it 9 mounts to G. Yoku will jump back in. It's just stand on the line. Those lines it out. Catch is out. Bold, but they've got a kill. Blocking a lot of this. G falling low here. The Fiend's grip on the Fiend's Lasso. Once it's about Spell, gives it a tornado out. He will still go down. They've actually lost two here, EG. Now he's moving in. Looking for the cleanup with the God Strength. Finds G. Takes down a lower dust. Double kill for the Sven. It's two for three at the moment. The question is EG. They're going to keep Harry around. Looking for more. He's sticking about it. BP on the sidelines, Yoku may want to jump back in, he's eyeing up the Sven, but on the side, BBD's caught him out, BBD trying to draw the attention away and allowing Aoi to find a triple kill, he's coming back down, Aoi, he's not done, he's lost the God Drake, but he may be in fine shape to look for more here with the Echo Saber Sword to Yoku, jumping forward, he's got a Storm Hammer, Aoi, he should have a good chance of finding himself with that money wheel, Ultra Kill for Aoi on the Sven, as EG, even the mind, with Yoku jumping in, EG will take that, they will certainly take that one. Yoku out of mana. The roar's down. Nice swap for No Fear, but No Fear will pay with his life. Fiend Strip and Storm Amateur to the face. The Venge is gone. Does manage to save Yoku, though, so. A reason they won that game, but I always feel so much more comfortable watching the DP game if G is the one setting the pace of the game by 15 minutes. Yeah, we just haven't seen the bat being. Uh, I think the best target for the bat rider to initiate on, but if he has Lincoln, it's kind of Ooh, mute. Bottom, No Fear. They've found him out here, Sabale. And fear himself. Oh, nice little swap. I mean, no fear certainly making them work for it, but we'll still find it. It's ultimately all you could do, right? Oh, wait, yeah. Space created, guys. It's created. Samael picks up himself. Uh, another kill on the evoke the same. Kill him. It would probably not be enough, right? Because then he would have the ages. He would come back. Uh, they would have to kill him, like, deep under tier fours the first time around. Just have have a chance to go in. Oh, Yoku coming in with a crush. The possible fortification here. VP Volvo looking for the Raw. Can't quite get it off until lower dancing time. But EG still with the space in here on the right. G. Gold snaps up Raw. Fiends good to follow through as well. This outcome is in the whole world of trouble. They'll pop the BKB. But oh, he still goes down. They find G. Down for 56 seconds. Now he's still surviving. The move back and now. Well, look to back himself out of the base. EG again with just clean. You're going to have some regeneration, so unless they can somehow focus you down in one go, you're still going to get some HP. Oh, if they can get some mail here, that will be nice for the dust. They're going to certainly have a good shot at it. Some mail will be for a bit of a solo push, and he gets taken down. All right, BP, that was your freebie. What are you going to be able to do with it? Up. If he's able to catch anyone, jump in, in grabs PPD, that's ready with the ult to take it off. Howie, coming back hard, the swap just in time, but no fear will pay of his life. FNG, they've got to run. The damage on this fan is absolutely armor. He hasn't even popped Warcry, which is an additional 20. He's almost got 4k HP. Like, who the hell needs lifesteal when you are a tank that's impossible to penetrate? VP have already sacrificed so many of their tier 2s, and now they're actually going to initiate an Aloha oh, Dance. Yeah, really nice Sunstrike. Given the vision to jump in, the swap will be there. FNG now jumping in. Grabs Bulba, brings him onto the back lines, and they will be able to find the Beastmaster from the low ground. The Beast goes on to Yoku. PPD comes in with a close down as Aoi starts to chop away. And then with the BKB up to the super go towards the tower, Aoi. Leaving himself back in with that blink. Still got that god strength up, uh, but well, again at the least it is just a one for one. Not too much achieved with the god strength until now, Aoi. Looking for G. One, two, getting forced back. It's gonna be enough. G just able to get himself back to safety. This actually be a, a buyback from Yoku. Wanting to return to the fight here. BP, can they actually punish anyone on the sideline? Yoku, he finds fit, he'll get it. Take down the main. They don't sell anything more. FNG moving in with a hex on to either. The question is, do they have the damage? PPD's on the sideline looking for the save onto Aoi. Here we go. Laying in with the armor. Don't you know they're actually able to do it? They'll take it, baby. Aoi goes down. BP holding the base. Cost them a buyback, but this is totally worth it, especially if they can find Simonel as well. And it looks like they will. BP, they do defend. 
and then a Zoo. We can jump this. We can actually get some sort of fight. And then each like he got the pick on the Bane, and then all of a sudden a, a Y thinks he's gonna be able to help out that fight, but that's not the case. He gets kited around. He gets slow. And a VG are gonna be around the corner. Who's gonna get the jump on you first straight away with the cross the last and follow through? How he gets the body shield onto a BKB as well. Now he turns. Look at Yoku. G moving in, focusing through on the back line. Bob containing the outfits with the raw. Now he moves in with the damage for the Manta. G's gonna be able to walk himself out. The swap away from No Fit. No Fit sacrifices himself, but they have lost both support to LVP. They're looking for some out. G with a good cost some out. Getting stunned up by Aoi. He's got a stun as well. Onto Yoku now, jumping in for more. Buyback from No Fit, trying to get himself into the fight again on the Vengeful Spirit. Yoku looking for some mail, but the control onto Yoku for the cold snap. He just can't get the slaps out. The fish is gonna be taken down. EG keeping themselves on top of this engagement. FNG gets himself out with the TP from the tree line. This is going to be a hard defense now for VP. They are without that slot on for 70 seconds. And also Lion as well down for 20. Try their best though, and we can see from the gold exchange. It is, of course, EG coming out on top and, and a buyback forced out from No Fear. But can they hold EG back on their own? And in fact, you may see some more casualties. He did not have to give it again. No fear. I mean, this man really giving his life in for the side of VP, and this time actually able to keep it himself alive as well. G moving forward now with the TP in from a low heart dance. They maybe have to punch the kills on the back of this. Lying up here. G moving in. They'll take out the bank. They get themselves a D more with a finger on Taui. They might just do it, but Aoi pops the BKB. He's done all the damage. He backs down. Nothing for GG. He's doing a lot. He may be just able to do enough. Chasing down Aoi. Aoi turns. Looking for the god strength. Tighten up. They won't be able to make it. G is punching through the more now. Samael has got a triple. Kill G now left alone. The meteor drops down. G can he fight his way out of this? What he can't. It's an ultra kill for Samael. But again, BP. They are really not well, first pro, which some of their heroes, it's not too long until seconds. they're all back up. If they somehow kill AUI in a fight like this, die back, maybe they can get some control back. I thought it was guaranteed over when they started going for that push of top lane, but BP have a chance. Oh, here we go though against the mail, the big for the play. G's now out of mana. Yoku's being forced to pop the BKB. I mean, EG will be able to find this rap by the TP to come in. Very impressively to the side. FNG pops the BKB. He's ready to jump. Ready to look for the lasso, but Polar holds him back with the roar. EG can they go back into this one on the hot dance. Looking for the stun. Samael turning through, but the pass. They'll find it. The lasso as well. G moves in. Onto Samael. Looking for the invoker. They'll take him down. That's a lot of money going the way of Slardar for Yoku. G, they're going to look for Roche, and, and they are going to get it. BP, not able to do anything to contest that. And, I've been able to question if you can. So FNG, obviously with that angle, if he jumps in, lasso someone next to uh, this, but again, he also in a bit of a rocky position. He's can't lose fights like this. Yoku jumps in with a crush. Now he's got the aquatic shield on FNG. Trying to go for that, so puts the BKB here. We'll now move on Aoi on the back line. There's your lasso grabbing ball, but trying to pull him out, but they've lost the bat rider. Aoi's moving in for the damage. The bats is a real from Yoku. The finger coming back into the spec. Can they kill Aoi? Aoi gets forced back. G now moving in. He's looking to try and clean up a BP. There are already two heroes down. EG still sustained. They're going to be able to move back in for more. And BP, of course, now we're going to have to look for this defense. With just the three men standing, Yoku alone with the base against TG's lineup. Now he moves in. See a low heart dance. Tears really trying to do his best. Yoku comes in. Cross on the catch onto Samael. There's your storm out. And now he's moving in with the team onto the slaughter. He tries to get himself back. G with a Manta style holding back EG. But EG there ready to move in. Yoku. That's on it. It might just be enough here. Can he get himself out with the armor? No, he can't. He lost the slaughter. But Yoku's got buyback. Yeah, and Bat Rider's about to come back in 5 seconds to 2. Oh, they have a chance baby. to be able to win this fight. Good crush on to 4 here in fact. And Goku focusing on to fear. BKB's been popped by a G here. Punching into the bay. Goku back in up with the roar. Now on to Alchemist G. Caught in the middle of it. They should be at the budget. Oh, G eats the G. Swaps out. No fear. Gets the swap out. Goku can he get himself back to base. Looks like he can. They've lost the fear again. Samael Hexel. Samael heals back in. And now punching into G. The Tornado should finish it. And meanwhile, Ali just cleaning out. GG. Well, well played is cool, but you certainly can't say that BP, they thought they had done this to the last step. Really, really tried it, but at the end of the day, EG were far too strong. And that final team fight absolutely crushing BP, but if this is anything to go by, game three should be a good one, Cap. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, it felt like inevitable by about almost 15 yeah. minutes that Evil Geniuses would take this, but it was still impressive the way that BP was able to prolong the game Absolutely. and give themselves just a, one more opportunity to, to stump one more push. Every single time, like, this is the final yeah. push. This is the final push. But BP, they did an admirable job trying to come.